Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. In this video, I will start the Storm Shield defense as I mentioned before in this new account. Plus the beginner's guides, like the command tap, armory, and etc. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content, helps me a lot. When you start the game first time, all these taps will be locked. But you will unlock all of them after finishing your first Storm Shield defense. First, you will get a cutscene from Ray. Now you can place your storm shield. Ray will give you some steps to follow, and you have to follow them. But it's just for the first mission, for the rest, you can build as you like. And don't worry, this mission is very easy. Just follow Ray's steps, and you are good to go. It will be a quick game, just 3 minutes. Expand shield from the storm shield console. 
The husk level is only level 1, too easy. As expected, the shields have gone a little flaky. Let's see if the storm notices. I think it did. You've got this, Commander. Defend your storm shield. After this, you will get some rewards, a constructor, and your first two survivors. Now you unlocked your first survivor squad and all these taps. I will explain all of them in details don't worry, for now, I will just give you a quick view for them. Check if you got in free llamas. In the command center you can check a lot of things about your account. Your power level. Your account level. Your survivor squads, and by the way, survivor squads are one of the most important feature in the game. For example, this squad give you resistance bonus which increases your shield and shield regain rate. You will unlock more 7 squads too while progressing in the game. And they give other bonuses, like weapons damage, HP, and etc. And by the way, autofill is not the best thing to use to fill your survivor squads. You can check this video to know how to set your squads, but it may be a bit confusing for new players. So for now, use survivors and commander who match the squad banner. Here you can change your hero loadout. Every loadout has a commander.
I will use this constructor for example. In the future, you will unlock the rest of this tab. You can use up to 5 heroes as a support team. But we'll explain everything about in another video when we unlock it. Here are some important tips that everyone should know. And the most important one is, don't rush and enjoy the game. Don't force yourself to progress in the game, take your time and enjoy. Also, don't level up any weapon schematic or heroes you get, until you know if it is good or not. If the hero is legendary, doesn't mean it is good. There are a lot of weapons and heroes in the game, so don't upgrade anything you get. Do your research and see if this hero or the weapon is good for you or not. Because at early game, you won't have that much resources yet. These pages are the main storyline, so when you are lost and don't know which mission to do next, follow these pages. These are the timed events, like Crankshot storyline here, Ventures, and etc. We get some every few months. These events give some unique heroes or weapons. If you found yourself able to progress in these events, do it. Because these events come once in a year. But don't feel obligated to, because some of them may be hard at early game. Like dungeons for example. These should give you a good start. There are ton of things and tips I can tell you right now. But I don't want to jam your mind with all of them. The best thing to enjoy a game is to progress the game and discover things one by one. After the first defense, you will go through some of the main missions in the game. The first one will be a one atlas mission, then ride the lighting. After few missions, you can play your second defense. And at some point, you can finish all your strong shield defenses without progressing in the storyline. I did that in my main account to be honest. Because finishing more defenses, unlocks more survivor squads and squad slots. And other things that will help you. Like you saw when I finished the first defense, it unlocked the first survivor squad. But it has only two slots unlocked. We will be able to unlock the commander and the rest of slots by progressing in the game. I will explain in after each defense. And that's it. Don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me. I will work on the second defense in the next video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this kind of videos. And if you have any recommendations or questions, I would love to hear them. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, see you in the next one.